What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and today I'm checking out the Nutsack Double Admin Pouch, which is the second pouch from Nutsack that I'm checking out. The first one was the Oxblood Leather Single Admin Pouch, and the Oxblood Leather is kind of considered the premium material, the premium upgrade version. This is the standard wax canvas version, and it comes in tan or black. I really, really like their wax canvas, have a couple of their bags in wax canvas, and so it holds up really well over time, and just looks really good. I think even though it's a standard material, I do th think it has kind of a premium feel to it. And wax again, this is just, I think, wax impregnated cotton, but it's really durable, holds up over time, and I think has historically been used by the military. It's definitely got kind of some history to it, and just looks really good, I think. And so the key difference, I think, between the leather and the wax canvas version is that the wax canvas version has the molly on the outside which allows you to attach some additional attachments. I only have one attachment on here which is the Zippo case which I think this is actually meant as a belt carry. This actually came with the Zippo that's inside of it which is that matte black Zippo and just works really well on the outside so threw that on the outside of here but you can clip you know your pocket clip with from your knife your multi-tool anything you want to the outside as well if you choose to but you can also add obviously additional organization on there I should mention the price on this is a little bit pricey at $129 that's actually really pricey for a pouch and so that might be kind of a barrier for entry for some people looking at this pouch there's definitely cheaper pouches in this size range that you can get but bar outside of the price I really do think this is almost a perfect pouch for me I really really enjoy it but again it's going to be a little bit pricey. Now there's molly att attachments on the front side but on the back side as well so you can use this it comes with these straps to attach to other molly straps and so a lot of the nutsack bags they hide the molly on the interior and so you can attach this to the interior a lot of those you can't tell that they're tactical from the exterior of the bag but it will work with other backpacks and bags that have exterior molly you can just attach this directly to them it also comes with some d-rings and so you can put a strap on there and carry it as a standalone bag or even turn it into a chest rig something like that with these straps and so a lot of versatility when it comes to actually carrying this pouch and it's called an admin pouch i'm kind of using it mixed use as both admin and edc and so it works really well in both functions the Exterior dimensions of this are nine inches wide by six inches tall, and it's about an inch and a half deep, but it definitely can expand a little bit if you really want to stuff it. Typically, I try not to overstuff them just because eventually it's going to take a toll on the zippers, and so try not to overstuff most of my pouches, so this is no exception. It's not super stuffed. can definitely fit more than I have in here. YKK zippers with some really nice leather pulls on there. If you don't like those for whatever reason, you can just cut them off and they're normal YKK zippers, but they look really nice. And so I'm gonna flip this open. You can see the zippers don't fully extend. It's a little more than probably three quarters inch extension. And so it's not gonna clamshell like some pouches, but you do, you are able to open it pretty wide as you can see. Now a lot of the items in here you'll see if you watch the $200 EDC challenge for the month of October from True Budget EDC that I did. You can recognize most of the items, all of the items from that challenge minus the wallet slash pouch is, are in this kit. And that was kind of intentional, obviously. This is a mock loadout, but still wanted to kind of stick with those items as much as possible. But if you haven't checked out that video, definitely check out mine as well as all of the other people participating in that October challenge. But first up is a Gondek EDC Hank as well as a Log and Jotter Notebook. These are kind of staples of my EDC. I almost always have a Hank and Pocket Notebook on me if I'm leaving the house, if I'm you know just wearing athletic shorts, taking my dog for a walk, not so much. But if I'm leaving the house, I typically will have those items on me. And then the only other item free floating in the middle is this J JW knife and tool bubble level. It's kind of pocket jewelry slash useful item. Don't really need a bubble level that often, but thought this was really cool and just kind of a cool item to have there. So you can see my table is level, which is nice, but <clears throat> not something I typically need on a daily basis, but a nice to have and just kind of a fun little item. Now, the organization on either side is gonna be a mirror image of each other minus the made in the USA tag, which I should mention, all of their products are made in the USA. They come with a lifetime guarantee. And so a little bit of that price is kind of baked into that. And so 
if that kind of moves the needle, great. If not, you know, just something to be aware of. But both sides are going to mirror each other. They have, both have two pockets on the bottom that are four inches wide and three inches deep, as well as six elastic loops on the top, which are an inch and a half wide. And so they look similar to the Molly webbing on the outside, but these are kind of a nylon material and these are actually elastic, so they're going to be a little bit more stretchy. And so they're nice and tucked out of the way. The elastic loops are right along the top. And if you don't want them, they lay pretty flat. If you do use them, you can use them in conjunction with the pocket or separately, however you want to use them. And so I, I used them a little bit, didn't use them on some spots, but we'll kind of show that as I go through the loadout. And so on the left side, in that first four inch by three inch pocket, is the Lander charger. This came in a going gear box and is one of my favorite battery backups. It, has wireless charging, which iPhones also have built-in wireless charging. So you can just throw the phone right on top of that without any wires. Just make sure it's charged before you leave the house. You can obviously use wires as well. This just flips out, has regular connections. And so you can use wires if you want, but I typically use it by just setting it on the table or desk that I'm at and throwing my phone on top of it, which is really nice. In the next four by three pocket, I have a iPad wall charger. So the little brick itself as well as the cord, obviously for charging my iPad, as well as a pen. This one is the Uniball Signo 207 Bold, uh, obviously also from that $200 challenge. So it's just something to write in that log and jotter. And that kind of rounds out what's on this side, less items on this side than the opposite. But again, you can get a kind of nice view of what that looks like and it's gonna be an exact mirror of the other side. So on this side, I went with more EDC items. So the first side was more admin type items and this one's more EDC type items. So the QSP Penguin, which is my carry for October, the Raylite Pineapple for my flashlight, and the Leatherman Wingman for my multi-tool. And all of those items I just had clipped directly into that pocket didn't utilize the elastic loops because these are all kind of shorter items. On the opposite side, I use the elastic loops, but I have them dropping into that pocket so they're still not gonna be bumping around and bumping into things on the opposite side. You can use shorter items that don't go into that pocket, obviously, but not how I, I decide to utilize it. And so the first elastic loop has this County Calm Titanium bit driver has kind of a rubber protector on the end that I try and throw back on there. Hopefully I don't lose it. Eventually I'm sure I will, but the handle of this one actually carries additional bits. And so you can carry the bits that you use most inside the handle, which is really nice. Right next to that, I have a Arcane Design space bar, I believe it's called, just pry bar. This also has a small bit driver, which is a little bit redundant with the bit driver that I'm carrying with it, but obviously leave them in there anyway, but really carrying that as the pry bar. And then lastly, in the last elastic loop is just an item that I often have anytime I'm kind of leaving the house for work in kind of a business shirt. I, oftentimes we'll go out to eat. If you spill something, you don't want to go to a client meeting with like a stain on your shirt or you don't want the stain to set in before you can get home. And so I really like the Tide to Go sticks for that. I go through quite a bit of these and sometimes they just dry out before I, I get to them if I leave it in the car or something like that. But do use them quite a bit and they're always nice to have even if it's not for you. If someone else spills, it's, you can always save the day by having that with you. So it's just nice to have. But now you can see the item, the inside of this pouch without any of the items in it. Again, just a mirror image of each other. The only difference is that made in the USA tag is not on both sides, but otherwise exactly mirroring the front and back. And so you have four total four inch wide by three inch deep pockets and 12 total inch and a half wide elastic loops along the top. And so that is the Nutsack Double Admin Pouch. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. I'm a big fan of Nutsack in general. I have a couple of their bags as well. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing some of the bags on the channel. I've tried to stay away from bags. I have quite a bit of backpacks, not all in the EDC realm, um, backpack slings, shoulder messenger bag type things, and have kind of stayed away from doing videos on them just because I'd have to change my camera setup. The arm that I'm using to record these videos isn't tall enough to really get bigger items on the table and record them, so I'd have to figure out an different way of recording them. Maybe I do just kind of facing the camera. I'll actually be on camera rather than this top down hands only view. But 
Either way, let me know if you're interested in seeing those and also what you think of this pouch. If you're interested in checking out the pouch or any of their bags, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below that really helps the channel out if you decide to use them. But again, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.